All right, ladies and gentlemen, it is time for our next fight of the evening. Please welcome to the cage our first fighter coming to us by way of the red corner, Kyle Graham. And his opponent set to make his way to the cage and fighting out of the blue corner, Gino Quentin! Ladies and gentlemen, this next fight is presented to us by Trilogy Tattoo and Trinity Tattoo. Come witness the best collection of award-winning tattoo artists in Hampton Roads. And now, this next fight, three five-minute rounds for the vacant SFL Featherweight Championship. Introducing first, fighting out of the red corner, a mixed martial artist standing at five feet, four inches tall. He weighed in at 145 pounds and fights independently. Ladies and gentlemen, here is... Kyle Graham! And his opponent standing across the cage and fighting out of the blue corner. A mixed martial artist standing at six feet, two inches tall. He also weighed in at 145 pounds and represents Impact Martial Arts. Here is Gino Quentin! And to give instructions in the center of the cage is referee Sean Spath. We went over rules in the locker room. Obey my command at all times. You got any questions? You got any questions? Touch them up if you want. Back up. Co-main event of the evening. The vacant SFL featherweight title on the line. Gino Quentin, his opponent Kyle Graham. Graham in the gray shorts. His opponent Gino Quentin in the black shorts. And Quentin working from his back early off here in this first round. Looks like Graham is looking for a submission early on here in the first round. Quentin fighting it off. Quentin looks to be out of this bad spot early. Yeah, I tell you, this right here, they're nice and close, good jujitsu. Nice kick up the middle via Quentin. Beautiful clinch work from Graham yeah. on the inside. Letting loose with those knees and punches. Oh, and a beautiful kick up the center again from Gino Quentin. Down to the canvas Down they go, courtesy of Graham. And a beautiful sweep from Quinton. Ending up in the top position, fully mounted. And reversed once again by Graham. Wow. Yeah. See, see, that's one of the things that I love about these lighter weight classes is these guys seem to be a little bit more nimble, and we have a lot more fast-paced action. Yeah. Of course, you know, they don't have a lot of that muscle mass that they're carrying around without getting, you know, when in the later rounds they get tired from all that, you know, not having enough oxygen there. And they're quick. You know, they're quick and they move. Yeah, absolutely. Both, fighter, both fighters in there vying for their opportunity to wear the 145-pound SFL championship belt. Graham working the top position. Quentin from the bottom trying to secure a submission. Yeah, it seems like he's trying to work some type of armbar. I don't know if G what Gino's trying to do. He's trying to work some type of armbar from the bottom, but he got an elbow from the bottom. Don't know, but it seems like Kyle, he's, he's composed at the top. He's yeah, Graham is, Graham is very composed, but it looks like he just made a mistake there, putting his hand on the mat. Quentin very cognizant of this. Both fighters kind of keep, keep their hands off the mat. Looks like, it looks so. like he's going up for a triangle. If he can get his leg through, and he got it through. There's the triangle. 
He was waiting on, oh, and now he's free. And he Graham was out. cognizant of this fact, slipped out of it, working north towards the dominant position, and Quentin still very dangerous from his back. Graham now yeah. working from the half guard of Quentin, but Quentin ever moving offensively from his back. Wow. Now he's coming around for the wizard. Single now Quentin leg. looking to take this down. Great defense by Graham. Takes it back down, puts Quentin on his back. Good job by Graham staying very heavy on the top. Yeah, he's wearing, he's, he's staying heavy and he's staying high. And he's coming down hard on Gino. And this can really affect Gino in the later rounds. Looks like he's going for some type of arm bar. Nope, he's, he's coming out. No Kimura. He's staying high, staying in the side. I don't know. He's just, he's in a half guard and he's just. Yeah, Graham seemed to be uh, taking up that, that Randy Couture thing, you know, being comfortable to sit there in the half guard and drop down elbows. Mm -hmm. But good work by Gino Quentin on the bottom, getting back to the full guard. Very, mm -hmm. very dangerous guard of Gino Quentin. Gino's no slouch on his back. You know, Do he's continuously Do not sleep doing. on this kid. He is always attacking from the bottom position. Mm hmm Graham cognizant of this fact. Great defense by Graham. Laying down some serious ground and pound on the top, trying to advance his position. But Gra Gino's all over it, man. He's long and he's limber. He has good flexibility. Looks like he's going for an arm bar. Is he going to bring him down again? Bringing him close, keeping him tight. Ten seconds left of the first round. On, round number one comes to a close. Good way to keep them nice and tight. Nice, tight. It, it almost does, but, you know, that's the one thing that's very deceptive about Gino Quentin is this guy's ground game is just offensive as all get out. Mm -hmm. He is always attacking, not using his defense, not using his jujitsu defensively. He is definitely using it offensively. But it looks like Graham's top game is just a little bit too heavy for him here. Definitely making Quentin think from the bottom. Uh-oh, looks like an arm bar is coming in. If he can get his... Nope, 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 nope. No, it's more of Graham trying to dominate this position, pin, down, pin him down, looked like he was trying to get him in a crucifix, just trying to tie up any of the limbs of Quentin as he can as he has him against the cage. Yeah. And he's really got him pinned up against the cage, no way out. Gino would do better if he was trying to walk, but now he's fully mounted. This is not a good position for Gino. Wow. Graham with the full mount, getting the grapevines in, trying to drop some ground and pound. He's at a little bit of a disadvantage because he's got him pressed up against the cage. Doesn't have as much leverage. Referee Sean Spath keeping a very close eye on this action here. Gino Quinton, very active, still trying to get out of this bad position. There is no quit in Gino Quinton. Both of these fighters very deserving of this title shot. And, and we're it seems like he right can't now. get out because of the cage. And he just have them pinned, stuffed them up against the cage. And that's going to do it. Referee Sean Spath is going to call a stop to that. And it looks like we have a new a featherweight champion of SFL. Let's go ahead and make this official. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Sean Spath has called a stop to the action at 1 minute, 36 seconds of the second round, declaring the winner by TKO, and now the new SFL featherweight champion, Kyle Graham!
All right, we're here live with your new champion, Kyle Graham. Well, I tell you, Kyle, you know, he was longer, limber, you were shorter, more compact. You stayed heavy on him, never letting him come up. Walk us through over here in the corner by really stuffing him down, coming into the second round, and really just landing those, those, those pounding to finish the fight. Uh, yeah, I mean, I knew he was a much longer guy. I knew he liked to be on his back and throw uh, arm bars and triangles. I just had to keep, keep my elbows tight, and once I got that mount, you know, rain him down till the ref stopped it. Anyone you'd like to thank for preparing you for this fight tonight? Uh, absolutely, my coaches. You know, I, ju I just switched gyms. I haven't even been there three months, and uh, I feel like a much better fighter already. Well, there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. The new champion, Kyle Gray!